Hey, what's up YouTube and also DP. So today I'm going to show you how to set up this M Audio Air 192.6 audio interface. All right, so here we got the interface. And so first things first, you got these two channels right here. You got the line in down there for your instruments, hence the guitar. And then back here you have your mic, but it's also a line. So it's like XLR. That's what XLR looks like. Those are usually for mics. And then it's also line in right there. And so these right here, I'll show it to you the right way. These right here, this is for your left monitor and your right studio monitor. And then of course you got your MIDI and it connects to the computer via USB. And you don't need power on this thing. It just is powered by the computer. All right, and then for these, this is the input meter. It lights up. Um, and then these are the gain. This is the gain control for each of these, but we'll get into that later. This knob, I'm not sure if it doesn't work on my interface. It says on the website that it's for just volume control, but it's like, it, it's never worked for me. So I don't know. And then this is for the headphone output. So along with the monitor, uh, stereo output you also have the headphone output which I just have this adapter in here right now but yeah that's line in so you would need an adapter to use actual headphones like a 3.5 millimeter uh, yeah I think that covers the gist of it all right so I got my DAW set up here it's the goat so here we're gonna plug in the USB-C cable to the M audio air and we'll see it light up and there you go power all right so back to the DAW so if you go into your audio settings you should be able to find so here it says air 192.6 that's what this is called of course and so now we have it selected and also you do need drivers with this interface all right, so now that we got power from the computer and everything's working in here, now we're gonna connect this microphone. This right here is a Shure SM58. It is a dynamic cardioid microphone. Yes. And we will be connecting it via XLR. Female to male. And male to female. All right, and so now that we have the microphone connected, we should see some display on the input meter here, but there is none right now. So we're gonna have to turn up the gain. So here we go. I'm putting it to the max and already we're getting some signal and here we go and it's clipping. So don't want that. All right, so once you're getting good signals like that, you can go into your DAW and then select the input one. And as you can see here, we're getting fall, yun, when I speak. And so what's actually happening here is this microphone is taking an analog audio and it's bringing it into this audio interface and then the interface transmits it to digital audio so that it can go into the computer and then you can put effects on it and all that stuff. And then the computer puts it back to the interface, which then tr transmits it again to analog, and then it goes to the speakers. So that's basically the concept of an interface. All right, and I actually don't have a TS or a line cable or a TRS, uh, but it works the same way as the XLR. But yeah, it works the same way. All right, so we got this beautiful synth here, but I'm only gonna be using it for MIDI. So let's set up the MIDI. All right, so it doesn't matter what color you put on the out, but if I put the orange one here on out, then the orange one there on the interface has to go in in, because like out, in, in, out. Um, we plugged in. All right, and then all you gotta do is enable your MIDI device in your interface and then you got MIDI. 
that is how you set up the M Audio Air interface. And yes. Peace.